All right, so what is going on guys? Uh, today in this video, I have an exciting, exciting video. Um, I'm gonna show you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus. Um, now, I haven't really seen a video on YouTube about this tablet and how to root it. Um, I kind of did it on my own, so I realized why not just show you guys a video. Yeah, this is kind of like my own tutorial. Um, I think this is like the first tutorial for this specific tablet. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, I just want to let you guys know a couple things. First of all, this is ruining your device, so this is going to void your warranty. Uh, again, it's going to void your warranty. You should not be rooting unless you know what you're doing. If you know what rooting is, go ahead and root it. If you don't, I don't know why you'd be on this video anyway, because we're going to be installing custom firmware on it. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, um, let's begin. So I have a freshly installed um, tablet here on Android 14. As you can see, I'm on Android 14 right over here. And the first thing you want to do um, is open up your settings app, obviously. Um, and you want to scroll all the way down over here on the left until you get to about tablet. And you want to click on software information. And the build number over here, you're going to keep clicking it. And you see you're four taps away from being a developer. So you're going to keep tapping build number, right? Like just keep tapping it and it says developer mode has been turned on. So now you want to go here. You want to go to developer options. And this is the most important part. OEM unlocking. Allow the bootloader to be unlocked. You want to turn this on and enable. And this is what's going to make you install the custom firmware. Now that you enabled OEM unlocking, um, we're going to go ahead and un actually unlock the bootloader. Um, so keep in mind, this will format your tablet. I repeat, you will lose your data. Please back up everything you need. This will format it. Here's what we're going to do. Hold down the power button on your tablet and uh, click power off and then click power off again and wait for it to power off. And then what you wanna do is um, you wanna connect your tablet to your computer. But before you do that, before you do that, um, on the side over here, there's the, uh, there's the power button and then there's the volume up and the volume down. So I'm not plugging this in yet. By the way, this is not fully in. Um, this is just resting, so it makes it easier. I'm, I'm just letting you know, I'm not connecting anything yet. Before I connect, what I wanna do, you wanna hold down volume up and volume down together. I'm holding them both down at the same time. Hold them both down, and then while you're holding it, connect your charger. It says volume up, continue, whatever, and then here's what we gonna want. It says volume up, long press, device unlock mode. This is what we want. So keep holding the volume up button, uh, not volume down, volume up, just keep holding it. Keep holding it, keep holding it. And then it will like restart like that, and then wait for like a few seconds, and then just let go. See, as soon as you as soon as you let go, it will say, "Unlock the bootloader." When you click volume up once, it will it will unlock the bootloader and it will format. Again, I know I said this three times, but this will format your tablet. If you need anything from it, please back it up before doing so. If you want to go back, just click volume down. Volume down will cancel, restart your phone, and it will not delete anything. Now that you've taken these precautions into consideration, click volume up. So I'm just gonna click it, and it's gonna format it. Okay, so now that we're here, go ahead and click start. Um, so you're literally just going to set up the tablet. So I'm just going to skip. And now when you get to this screen, you don't need to sign into Google or anything for right now. Um, because we're going to be formatting this again very soon. Believe it or not. This is not the first format. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and click skip. Skip. We don't really need that. Um, just turn off everything. Like I said, it doesn't matter. We're going to format it anyway. This is all going to get erased. Okay, one way to skip the Samsung account, by the way. If you just click forgot password or don't have an account. And then you click set up later in settings. And then skip. You can just skip it this way because I know it's like all in your face. You can skip this also. Turn these off, doesn't really matter. Other state, I'm not in Utah. If you're in Utah, please check Utah for legal purposes. Okay, and the second step over here is gonna be right over here on the computer. I'm gonna put a link in the description for it, but we're gonna be downloading the stock firmware for it. This is important. This is what we're gonna modify to inject Magisk in it, and then we're gonna flash it. I do have the SMX210 model over here. Um, so this is a firmware for it, and this is important. The CSC. Now, mine is XAR. I know that for a fact, but the way to check, let's go back to the tablet over here. Uh, you go to your phone app, and we're going to put star pound, one, two, three, four pound, and there you go. It will say your CSC right over here. Now, if you look back on the computer, it doesn't say that. It just says like SAR, XAC, MXO, like which one is it? The easiest way, if I'm being honest with you, is to literally just Google it. So I just Googled it um, because I already opened this link. Um, but yeah, just click like on, on the first couple of links that match it. Um, this one, this one, right? And it will tear right over here. Region, X-A-R. So it's not always going to be the first link. It depends on your CSC code. 
but uh, just keep like clicking through them and to find out exactly like what region you have um for example see i googled it it took me here and it literally says xar right here on, on the top and right here xar so now you know your csc region which is very important um see this website as well xar usa um so literally just google it click on a few links and, until it says what region you have um so xar right for me and you want to download uh the latest version over here it's usually the top one um but yeah it, it says full files right over here xar and you just click download and click uh, download from Sam FW server. Just click on it. Wait for it to download. Calling Heimdall, sure. Okay, so it started downloading, but I canceled it because I already have it downloaded. So this is what it should look like after you download it. Um, it is gonna be a zip file. Uh, just make sure you extract everything somewhere. Um, so I just extracted this, as you can see, like uh, on one of my drives, I have like tablet firmwares. Uh, but yeah, make sure you extract this from the zip file. Okay, so after you downloaded that, second step, here's what you're gonna do is you want to plug in your tablet just plug it in normally um, when this pops up allow access to tablet data click allow that's very important so now that you allowed it what you want to do is go to this pc um, on your computer and you want to open up the galaxy tab a9 plus so open up the device open up internal storage open up the download and here's what you want to do first things first um, I'll have a folder over here, link in the description. Um, it's a zip file, make sure you, you extract it somewhere. It has a drivers folder, which we'll get into later. Um, it has an Odin 3 folder and it has a Magisk APK. So what we wanna do is we wanna uh, copy. Um, you can right click and click copy or you can control C, it doesn't matter, whatever you use. So we wanna copy that and go back into the download folder. See, make sure you're in your Galaxy Tab A9 device and just paste it in here. So it's now in the download folder. And second thing, second, go to where you extracted your tablet firmware. This is very important. And now that you're right here, we want the AP folder. I know it's six gigabytes and it's gonna double in size. Um, so it's gonna be six gigabytes for me at least. And uh, after you patch it, it's gonna be another five gigabytes. So make sure you have at least like 12 to 14 gigabytes free space, which you should. I mean, you literally formatted the, the tablet by now. You wanna copy your AP folder. There will be a BLCSC, home CSC. We, we don't need that, uh, just the AP folder. Copy that and uh, you want to go back to your download folder in your tablet again make sure you, you're in your Galaxy Tab A9 oops see not like that and you want to paste this in so um, right click paste or control V doesn't matter uh, this is gonna take a while it is a 6 gigabyte file okay so now that that's done um, let's go back to our tablet over here um, just unlock it uh, you can disconnect it for now you don't have to I'm, I'm going to anyway so now what you want to do is open up uh, my files and you want to go to your downloads and you want to install the APK. You want to install the Magisk APK. So click on that. And right over here, um, it is going to disable it. Just go ahead and click settings. Um, where it says my files, allow permission, make sure that's on. And then the bottom, it will say, do you want to install? Click, go ahead and click install. If for some reason, say you dismiss it, you click that and you're like, oh my God, what do I do now? Um, it's okay. Just go back to your my files app. Um, go back into your downloads again and just click on the APK again um, and then click install over here. Um, so wait for that to install. So now you just want to go ahead and open it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to format it anyway. I'm just going to click allow. Um, so here's what we want to do. You want to go ahead and click install in the not under the app. You want to click install under the magisk over here. And then in the method, there's a checkbox next to select and patch a file. We're going to click on that. And you should see it over here. If not, just go ahead and, and click the like three lines um, in the top left and go to your downloads. Um, and it should be here. You want to click your AP underscore whatever file, the AP for the six gigabyte one. So you want to go ahead and click that. Now you just click let's go in the top right over here. And now we're going to wait for it. This will take a while. Yeah, let's just wait. Now keep in mind, since this is freshly like factory reset, um, the default like timeout time for the screen is going to be 30 seconds. So just make sure you keep clicking. I don't know if this works in the background. I have not tested that. And I'm going to be honest, I don't want to because um, it's a 6 gigabyte file and I don't want to wait for nothing because it's going to take a while. But yeah, look at that. Now it's done. Um, it literally says all done here at the bottom. And to verify that I finished, um, go back to my files over here and then go to your downloads and you should see uh, your original like AP file. Oops. And there's the Magisk patched file as well. 
as you can see six gigs and five gigs like i said needed around like 12 13 gigabytes now they have that we want to go back to our pc um, i'm gonna go ahead and plug in my tablet uh, i just realized it didn't really matter if you kept your tablet plugged in or not i decided to to plug it out um just keep it plugged in it's not gonna bother anything just just to make it easier but yeah uh go back to this pc go back to your tablet uh internal storage download and this the magisk tar file oops what have i done what have I actually, dude, I, oh my god, and now it's showing up as empty, okay, what have I done? Okay, now that that's fixed, I apologize, things happen off screen, but I just kept disconnecting it, connecting it back, and it works now. So go back to your storage, download, you want to extract this somewhere, um, I'm going to extract this in the same file as I have my, uh, my firmware. So one thing that I want to point out, actually, um, if you go back, um, like, you know, to your model number and your CSC and you click on the latest version. If you go down over here, you can download like the AP file, the BL file, CSC file, um, like manually. Like, see, instead of like downloading the whole thing. But here's the thing. But I know what you're thinking. Like, hey, Magisk only flashed the AP file. Why do I need the rest? You do. Um, they, they all come into play together. That's the thing. Because I tried. If you just patch this by itself, the device will bug out. It will just give you errors and it will not boot. So trust me when I say just download like the whole folder. I know it's 5 gigabytes but it's the best way to ensure everything else works because we're going to be flashing all of these. Okay, anyway, um, enough about that. Um, the file has finished copying. See, now I have it over here. So here's what we're going to do. Um, this is very important. Make sure your tablet is unplugged. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. Cool. And what you want to do is you want to go to your drivers and uh, you want to open up the Samsung USB driver. I know it says for mobile phones, but it works for everything. I already installed it. I'm not going to reinstall it. Um, but yeah, just keep clicking like next, next, uh, accept, whatever. It, it's from Samsung officially, so it's not going to be like, you're not going to have like advertisements or whatever. Um, but yeah, install that. Make sure you keep clicking next. And once you're done with that, uh, you want to go to Odin and you want to open up Odin. When this pops up, just click OK. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to enter download mode on our tablet one more time. Um, so again, uh, hold the power button, power off. Oops, I missed. How did I miss a button? So again, hold down the volume up and volume down. So I'm going to hold them down. And then while you're doing that, plug it in and keep holding down the volume up and volume down. Once you're done with that, uh, just click the volume up once. Don't hold it like last time. Just click it once. Click continue, right? And here's what we want. OEM, OEM lock should be off because we did it from the settings. If it says on, um, you probably missed a step. Uh, just make sure you enable developer settings. OEM unlock on and it, you should be good now. After you do that, go back to Odin, and as you can see, it will say uh, a COM number over here. For example, mine says COM6. Yours might be different, that's okay. It might be COM4, COM7, COM8, it doesn't really matter. Um, just as long as you see like a, a, a COM box over here with a number, you're good. Anyway, now that you're connected, go to Options, and Auto Reboot, you wanna turn off. This is very important, make sure that's off. So now that that's off, uh, so over here, you wanna click BL, and you want to navigate to where you extracted your firmware. Um, for example, I have it in this folder. Um, so just make sure you like you navigate to it. And um, so we clicked on BL, right? So we want to click BL over here and click open. Now it might freeze for a bit. Don't worry, that's fine. It depends on the uh, the speed of your drive. If you have like an SSD or a hard drive, and it depends on your computer and your CPU. Now you want to go ahead and click AP. And okay, instead of clicking AP, here's the thing. Instead of clicking AP, you want to click on the Magisk patch tar file because this already has the AP inside it. It's just modified to have Magisk installed. So make sure you select Magisk and then click open, right? That should open it. Like I said, it might freeze, take a while, that's fine. And then you want to go to CSC and you want to click the CSC, not the home underscore CSC. We want to factory set this from, from scratch. Um, so just click the normal CSC, not the home. Normal, click open. Now that that's done, again, make sure auto reboot is off. And what you want to do now is just click start and you're going to wait. It's going to take like around like 10 minutes. Like it's going to take a while. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and click start. So this is obvious. I probably shouldn't have to say this, but I just want to remind you, uh, do not unplug your tablet. I learned the hard way. Just trust me. Do not unplug it. Keep it plugged in. If you have like a loose USB port on your computer, fix that. I'm, I'm going to be honest. You don't want this to disconnect at all. So now that that's done, um, this next step might be a bit difficult. Just please pay attention. Um, I'm going to put instructions up on the screen. Just please pay attention. So we're going to go back to the tablet. Now keep this plugged in. It doesn't really matter. Um, but here's what we want to do. So we turn off auto reboot on purpose. We don't want it to reboot. I'm going to explain verbally what we're going to do. Um, and then I'm going to do it. We're going to hold down the power button and the volume down button. Okay. And we're going to hold it until the screen turns off. And then once the screen turns off, 
uh, you want to let go of the volume down and then switch over to volume up. Um, so when the screen turns off, basically you're going to have the power button and volume up held. And then when you see the Samsung logo, you're going to let go of the power button and just keep holding down the volume up button. So again, there's going to be instructions up on your screen. Yeah, uh, try not to mess this up, but yeah, let's just go ahead. Here goes nothing, okay? So again, I'm holding down power volume down. And then I want to switch over to volume up. And once you see the Samsung logo, keep holding down volume up. Now you're going to hold it for a while. I'm just letting you know. You're going to hold it for like a good 30 seconds, I think. But yeah, see, you saw one UI and it's going to restart. That's fine. Just keep doing it, doing it, doing it. Keep holding it. Please do not let go. I know you will see warnings. It just says that you don't have an official firmware running. Which we know, you, you obviously you should know by now. Um, but yeah, keep pulling down the volume up. Again, volume up, not volume down. Keep holding. Okay, now once you get to this screen, let go. You can let go of the volume up button. So you want to hold it like I said, I held it for like a solid 30 seconds, like for a while. Okay, so now that you're here, um, you want to click volume down, not up. You want to click volume down, right? So. Volume up goes up, uh, volume down moves the selection bar down. Um, so, you know, so up, down. You wanna go down to factor data reset. And once you highlighted it, you wanna click the power button over here. Click it once. And now you wanna press the volume down buttons to go down to factory data reset again, and then click the power button. Okay, now let it do its thing. Okay, so now that it's booted, you can go ahead and unplug your device for now. So now we're gonna set this tablet up again, but here's the thing, this time, you do wanna connect to Wi-Fi and you do wanna sign up to Google and everything because from this step on, we're not gonna format the tablet again. This is the last format. So basically sign into your Google, like like set, set up the tablet how you wanna use it daily. So now that that's set up, if you go into like your apps library, you should see Magisk over here. You just wanna go ahead and open it and it will literally say upgrade to full Magisk to finish setup. Download and install, just click okay. Okay, so now that it's downloaded, as soon as the icon comes back, just like that, now you open it. And the one last step, it will say your device needs additional setup for Magix to work properly. Do you want to proceed and reboot? Go ahead and click OK. This is very important. But anyway, um, as you can see, it does say installed, RAM disk, yes, and latest is already installed. So you're good. Um, so now to test it, uh, open up your Play Store, and you want to download any anything that requires root, for example. There's a root checker app. This one, for example. Uh, just go ahead and install it, right? Just wait for that. So now that it's installed, um, you just want to go ahead and open it. And just click don't allow, you don't need notifications. Um, just click agree. Just click back, you don't need to click get started. And here's the thing, look, as soon as you click verify root, there you go. This should pop up and now you just click grant. And there you go. But yeah, uh, your tablet is now fully rooted. Uh, do with it as you wish. But that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And yeah, peace out.